Hi everyone, I'm Jayatri Das. I'm Chief Bioscientist at the Franklin Institute. I always came to the Franklin Institute as a kid and loved running around through the giant heart like you probably do too. <laughs> I loved biology, loved um, you know looking at insects in my backyard. So I went to college, majored in biology, um, and started learning about evolutionary bi biology, which is the science of how living things change over time. And I thought it was so fascinating to understand how the world came to be, you know, what it is today. So I went on to grad school and I did my PhD in ecology and evolutionary biology. But as I was doing my PhD, I started learning that there's a lot of misunderstanding about what evolution is and what it means. And so I thought that maybe I could make a bigger difference in the world by working to improve science education rather than staying in science research. Um, so after I finished grad school, I had a chance to work, uh, do a fellowship at a science museum in Washington, DC. Realized that museums were a place that you know, people could have careers and, and, and really have an impact on people's lives. Uh, and so I came back to Philadelphia and I've been at the Franklin Institute ever since. My job kind of falls into three buckets of work. One bucket is to be one of the faces of the museum out there talking about science in public spaces. So I do programs for all different audiences and all of these are kind of tied together um, with the themes of curiosity of asking questions about science, themes of discovery, learning things, um, learning new things and why they matter to our world and really bringing people together to talk about science as something that brings us together to develop you know, a shared understanding of our world. Another bucket of my work is behind the scenes here at the museum. I'm a point of review for all of the science that goes into our exhibits, our programs, our digital content, um, and I want to tell you a little bit about the exhibit process. So exhibits are really a place where we create fun experiences for people to come together and explore science in a hands-on interactive way. The process is starting with the science concepts that we want to talk about, finding a storyline that ties those science concepts together, really brainstorming ways to bring those science contents to life, whether it's through interactive devices or immersive experiences, and then we design them and test that's a really important part of the process because not every idea is a good idea. A lot of the things that we think of for exhibits end up not working. <laughs> Either they're not fun or they're too confusing or you know they're just not practical. So there are a lot of constraints that go into designing a good and effective exhibit. All of these elements come together to make our exhibits fun, exciting, and educational places to come and visit. But the third piece of my work actually takes place outside the walls of the museum. Whether we're talking about COVID or space or uh, climate change or the impact of new technology on our lives, we create spaces for scientists and public audiences to come together to think about what science means for our future and how to make sure that collectively we're making decisions that help science do the most good for the most people. And this involves a lot of creative work too, because you know people don't just want to come together and hear a lecture all the time. So we think about ways to make that fun, to bring science to where people are, um, and to help scientists tell their stories in more interesting ways. So if you're interested in thinking about a career in museums, first I would say go to museums. But look at it with a different eye. Look around you and think about why things might have been designed the way they are. Then develop your communication skills. Practice your writing, practice your public speaking. Get comfortable with talking to strangers. It feels really weird sometimes, but the more you do it, the better you get. Practice your creative thinking and don't be afraid of getting things wrong. Like I said, in museums, you throw a lot of ideas out there and a lot of them don't work. Um, so don't be afraid of failure. And finally, just stay curious, ask questions, and love to learn. Um, because the best way to get somebody else excited about whatever you're talking about is to be genuinely excited about yourself. So take some of those ideas no matter what you do in life, but 
you can always find a home for that at the Franklin Institute. Thanks and good luck.